ओम शांति बाबा की साकार मुरली है सॉरी साकार वर्जन ऑफ बाबा ऑगस्ट ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री बाप दादा मधुबन वर्जन ऑफ श्री बाबा एसेंस ऑफ द मुरली स्वेट चिल्ड्रन दिस ओल्ड वर्ल्ड हिज टू टर्न टू डस्ट एंड बिकम कंप्लीटली यूजलेस सो बाबा इज नरेटिंग द प्रेजेंट कंडीशन ऑफ द वर्ल्ड वी कैन ऑल्सो सी द कंडीशन ऑफ द वर्ल्ड ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड इन एवरी कॉर्नर देर इज समथिंग इज हैपनिंग विच इज ऑन नेचर पीपल नेवर एक्सपेक्ट दिस थिंग एवरी ईयर न्यू रेकॉर्ड ऑफ यू कैन से वेदर चेंज टेम्परेचर डिस्ट्रक्शन एक्सेट्रा आर बींग एस्टाब्लिस्ड सो इट इज श्योर नाउ वी कैन सी दैट ओल्ड वर्ल्ड इज टर्न टू डस्ट एंड बिकमिंग कंप्लीटली यूजलेस बिकॉज कंडीशन ऑफ ह्यूमन बींग इज वर्सनिंग डे बाई डे therefore remove your intellect yoga from the world that is going to turn to dust baba so world he is going to transform going to destruct so baba say remove your intellect yoga we don't want to baba don't want to remove ourselves physically from this world he wants to remove our intellect yoga and to connect to the new world question what desire do people have that only the one father can fulfill nobody else can fulfill no deity no angels no any preceptors no any head of the any religion they can make this task answer people desire peace but they don't know who made them peaceless you tell them that the five vices have made them peaceless they don't know even we were also not knowing we come to know when we got baba's knowledge when there was purity in bharat there was peace the father is now once again establishing the pure family household path now it is a impure family household path so pure family household path where there will be peace without purity there will be no peace purity is the mother of peace and prosperity so baba there will be peace happiness and everything not only peace body is there so that we can enjoy happiness without body we cannot enjoy happiness we are perfect human souls even in the supreme above but there is no happiness because no body no one except the father can show the path to liberation and liberation in life except father except supreme almighty authority except shri baba except baba nobody can show the path to liberation that is to go in the supreme abode and liberation in life that is come into heaven paradise song take away from this old world of sin to a place of rest and comfort all souls are calling him o purifier o liberator come and take us away from this old world of sin because totally tamo pradhan to a new world where there is complete rest and comfort that is paradise om shanti who spiritual gathering with satsang is this when people go to spiritual gathering there is always one or another holy man Sant Mahatma or a great soul sitting on the gaddi and speaking knowledge from the scriptures etc they are not speaking from their own they are learn from the scriptures scripture may be of any religion however they have no aim or objective there no one knows what attainment they can have from a spiritual gathering no aim and objective do no target nothing is there no attainment it isn't just the guru's followers who go to him not only follow no anyone can go and sit there they they there they can be followers or anyone else of any religion they believe that such and such a great soul has come and so they quickly run there that is called a spiritual gathering 
the Mahatma would explain something from one or other Veda or scriptures. Veda, Ved, Ved came, Ved means knowledge, nothing else. In fact, the truth, the, simp the Supreme Soul is the only one. All the rest is the company of human being. Satsang, it is not the company of truth, who is the Supreme God, Father. only one. The rest everywhere, company of human beings. Only the Supreme Soul, the truth, tells you the true story of becoming Narayan from an ordinary man. All this, those people, they are telling the story of Satya Narayan. There is no story, no aim objective in that to become a Narayan from an ordinary man. The true story of Narayan is told to on the day of full moon, generally on Purnima, full moon. You now know that the true full moon is when night changes into day. You become 16 celestial degrees full. In fact, the sun of knowledge can never be eclipsed. It is this sun and moon, etc. That is physical sun, physical moon, which give light to the earth that become eclipsed. The sun of knowledge is the one who give light, who gives light to everyone, all the souls of the world, all the five elements of the world. His praise is sung. When the sun of knowledge rises, the darkness of ignorance is dispelled. All of you sitting here are the children. We are the children of the Supreme Soul, Shri Baba. Outsiders are not allowed here. They wouldn't understand anything. In other satsang, anybody can go and sit here. Nobody is allowed outsider because they will not understand anything. So we are giving a seven days course then and then they are allowed. The father says, I only come personally in front of you children and change you from sinful souls into charitable souls and make you worthy of living in a temple. That is the pure world of Shiva, Laya, that is temple of Shiva. Shiva created heaven. Who reside there? The deities whose images are placed in the temples. You know that 5,000 years ago, those deities lived in Bharat and then they ruled in heaven. No one in the world knows when they ruled the kingdom or how they attained their kingdom. You children know that that was a new world and that this is an old world. The people of Bharat say there should be a new world and a new Bharat. There should be a world almighty kingdom. People want of Bharat because they have sanskars. They have seen the new world. That's the reason. They are calling him to establish world almighty kingdom because they have witnessed the world almighty kingdom. They have sanskars in their souls, which is being geared up. It enters the intellects of soul that it used to be the kingdom of deities here. But those poor people don't know when and who established the kingdom of almighty authority. They don't know. It definitely existed at some point of point in time. You know that Bharat was the golden sparrow. Totally made of gold, studded with diamonds. In whose company are you now sitting? Consciousness should be changed. Which great soul has come? Supreme Soul has come by Himself to teach us. So we are godly students. We must have intoxication. Our consciousness should be changed totally. Sri Krishna would not say, God speaks. I teach you Raj Yoga. Krishna cannot say, God speaks. The locks on the intellects of you children have now opened locks of Maya, locks of ignorance. You know that the whole of this world is to turn to dust and become completely useless. People want peace, but who can establish peace? They are peaceless. How they can establish peace? Doctor can make doctor, engineer can make engineer, doctor cannot make engineer. The peaceless human being, how they can establish peace? They are giving peace Nobel Prize. Baba say give prize. Peace cannot be established by you because you are peaceless. First of all, ask them, 
who made you peaceless. They won't be able to tell you anything about how the five vices made them peaceless. There was peace in Bharat when there was purity. They were very, very happy on the pure family household path. It has now become an impure household path. There are its signs. You can see the signs in the world, what is happening around. Initially, when Baba came, it was not so upheaval. Now we can see all kind of upheavals in the world leading to destruction. At that time, it was not there, so Baba was showing the visions. Now, no need of the visa because we can all see what is happening in the world. So, Baba says, <coughs> they don't have any virtue. They, you can see the signs. They sing praise in the temples. We are degraded sinners. We are without virtues. We don't do not have any virtues. People sing this, but they don't know anything. When the family, when the father comes, he comes. So he makes effort on you children. The father comes to you children. Here there isn't any sage or any or holy person. This one he is a bodily being. Oh, Dada, your vision goes up above. We are listening to Shri Baba, not to Dada, not to any brother or sister. Our vision is not to, not on any bodily being. Krishna was a child, a bodily being, who took birth through a womb. Each and every soul has his own body. Shri Baba doesn't have a body of his own, no physical body, no subtle body, bodiless, incorporeal, niraka. So nobody, a name he is given to each body, the name of each soul, each soul is a soul. It is said, a great soul, a sinful soul, charitable soul, deity soul. The Baba say, name is given, soul. Sinful supreme soul would never be said. See, logic of Baba. Or great supreme soul, or you can say, Religious supreme soul never be saved. In that case, how can they call themselves God? The supreme father, the supreme soul is only one. He is the supreme father who resides in the supreme abode. You say the supreme soul, the supreme is the incorporeal one. Supreme beyond body, beyond cycle, beyond karmic bondages. That is called supreme. They have confused this and given him the name, the Supreme Soul. Everyone remembers him. God show the path to the blind ones. Your intelligence go up above to the Supreme Father. The one who tells you all the secrets is the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul. Nobody knows the secrets, so he only can tell the secret, nobody else. The land of Nirvana is called the land of liberation. The souls who come first have liberation in life first, and then from a life of liberation, they go into the life of bondages, three stages of soul. First, Baba says liberation, then life in liberation, and then life in bondages. So three stages of the soul, not of the body. Soul is changing from one stage to another automatically from higher to lower. And when go to the lowest, he has to come and make us the highest and automatically goes down. Nobody is making us whole, automatically becoming as per natural law. So Baba says, <coughs> You children know that there is purity, peace and happiness in the golden age when there is one kingdom. That is called the undivided kingdom. Then there are the divided kingdoms that is from the copper age. That is the devil's kingdom. First of all, there was just the one religion and now there are innumerable religions. One religion, one family, one language, one kingdom, one Bharat, one continent. No two, so the no question of fighting or quarreling. You children know this whole world cycle very well, number-wise, according to your efforts. How we know number-wise? 
Nowhere else do they have an aim or objective. No any other spiritual gathering satsang they have aim and objective. You children know that the seed of this tree, the supreme soul is up above. That is the river tree that is called <coughs> Kalpa Vruksha in Hinduism. First there is the creation of the golden age. Then from the golden age it becomes the silver age. The whole world has to become old and Tamo Pradhan has to become no choice in that. You are now in the old world. It would not be called a new. The golden age was the new world. The iron age is called the old world. It takes time for it to become old. At first it was a new and now it is old. Nowadays everyone in Bharat wants there to be a new world and a new Bharat within it. A world almighty authority kingdom. When the almighty authority established the kingdom of deities, there was no other kingdom at that time. Only one family, one kingdom. No human being can be the almighty authority. That is, human beings cannot be the ocean of knowledge. Human being can become embodiment of knowledge. They cannot become ocean of knowledge. The praise, ocean of knowledge, ocean of blessings, ocean of powers is the only one God. Ocean, ocean, keep the adding. Ocean of virtues, ocean of powers, so many things. Ocean of positivity. It is from him alone that you receive the inheritance. The father himself says, what he says, I come every cycle, not every age. I come and make this Bharat into heaven. Then after half a cycle, you lose your fortune of that kingdom. You are then defeated by Maya. Baba say Maya. It is not a question of minds being defeated. The mind becomes completely like a horse. So always running, always going on and on, on and on, very fast because of negativity, completely. Maya blows your minds away. Same words of Gita. Maya uda ke le jati hai. Same, same words. Man blows. Maya blows your minds away. Maya too says it is a wonder. How can anyone from my army go to the other side? Maya wonder how anyone can go from Maya to Baba. See even, see even conquers very good Maharathis. You battle against Maya. This is not a question of war with physical weapons. No physical war. Supreme God Father cannot treat the children to fight in between. How he can? Even human being, human fathers, human being fathers, they are they cannot tell their children to, you can say, fight in between. So how Supreme God Father can say us fight in between? No. This is the war to conquer Maya. So it is a symbolic representation. Those wars have always goes on, physical war. At first, they waged war with swords and then guns were invented and now there are bombs. So how the, they have waged the war, how? Different instrument. Physical power, spiritual power, everything goes from Bharat to China, then Middle East, then you can say, European countries, then America. Power gone, but that is all power become more and more physical. Now it will come to Bharat, but totally spiritual. That is the wonder of Baba. No need of anything. It is now in the intellects of you children that you were deities. No one in the other, no one in other spiritual gathering would say that they were deities and that they have taken 84 births that they have now become impure and are now once again becoming pure. Nobody can claim this thing. You too were without sight. We were also not knowing sight means. No knowledge, sight means knowledge. Light. This is not a question of any physical eye. No, he is not talking about physical eyes. He is a spiritual eye. That is knowledge only, nothing else. So Baba says, <coughs> no physical weapons, conquer Maya, no guns, nothing. 
you do wear without sight. This is the, this is not a question of your physical eye. This is a matter of your divine eye of knowledge. Souls have forgotten their father. Sannyasis have said that each soul is the supreme soul. The father himself comes and opens your third eye. They have then portrayed the deities with a third eye. Just as they have shown Vishnu with those ornaments, similarly, they have shown the deities with a third eye. However, their third eyes of knowledge never open. They have no knowledge. If they had this knowledge in the golden age of how they would descend and how they would then become residents of hell, they would lose the happiness of the fortune of the kingdom. So they don't have the that eye, that is spiritual eye. They forget everything. Here also, when we take a rebirth, newborn baby, he or she don't know what past was. So everybody forgets. It is a law of the nature. So Baba said they don't know anything. This knowledge only exists at this time. You sweetest, beloved, long lost and now found children. Know that you have come to Baba after 5,000 years to claim your fortune of the kingdom once again. So target is there. We will then come again after 5,000 years. We are all round actors. We became deities and then we become warriors. We became deities and then we became warriors. We have now become Brahmins once again. No one has this knowledge. Gita Patshala means God's Patshala, not that Gita Patshala only. There are the versions of God. <clears throat> Those people have then inserted Sri Krishna's name. There cannot be versions spoken by God Sri Krishna. He was a small child. People have accused him of so many things. He had so many children. He abducted so many queens, etc. So you can say they have put all the blames on him. Baba say how it is possible. All of you come came running here by yourselves. No one abducted you. Baba say formally they have come. No abduction. If anyone in the government were to abduct anyone there would be a case brought against that one. <clears throat> it was a wonder that so many children came. A bhatti has to be created. Old people, young people, children, all varieties came running here by themselves. Baba was solving visions. Baba was starting his task at that time. Some whole trees, miss whole families came. Four families yes, surrendered totally like Brahma Baba. They have confused the things that happened here with Sri Krishna and written all the wrong things. Because same soul, Dada's soul becomes Sri Krishna's soul. So they have confused everything. There was sensational news in the newspaper. What was the news? It was printed in the newspaper in America, that is Jeweler in Calcutta, said that he wanted 16,108 queens and that he had so far found 400 because there were 400 in home money. All of this is a game, nothing new. The same thing will happen after a cycle. Your bhatti will be created in the same way. It was a repetition, nothing else. You can see how establishment is taking place. You are changing from human beings into deities. By making the best tower of liberation in life belong to you, you claim right to attaining your inheritance in a second. Janak also had a vision in a second. People say, give us the same knowledge that Janak received. Janak attained his kingdom in the Silver Age. Baba, first of all, explained to you, it is now in the intellects of you children who it is sitting in front of you. Only the children who are sitting against Baba, they have the knowledge. They have placed a bull in front of Shiva temple. A human being would sit on a bull. How could incorporeal Shiva ride it? Therefore, they have shown Shankar sitting on it. So Shiva physical form is Shankar. They don't understand anything and soul physical form is Parvati. So Amar Katha. You heard in the song, so the path to the blind dear God. 
all are blind that is without intellects it is the rule of the people over the people democracy ruled by the people for the people of the people in earlier days each kingdom was ruled by a king when anyone committed a great crime the king would pass judgment so both were saying same hand it is now the rule of the people over the people they are all judges of one another it is a wonder this is an unlimited play only you know this no one else can say this this drama continues to move like a louse it continues to tick away the world cycle continues to turn no one knows the world history and geography they say that even each lives moves on the directions of god however that is in the drama if a fly passes through here it will repeat after a cycle drama because fly has no intellect no choice so physical drama always going on this drama has to be understood the drama is for the past not the for the future only human beings would understand baba explains so clearly baba is the world almighty authority he says what he says i too am bound by the bondage of drama see the humility of the father i myself come and make him pure once pure you are now receiving power from the father in order to conquer maya Maya, the enemy has made you completely poverty stricken. There is no health or wealth. If health is there, wealth is not there. If wealth is there, health is not. Both are there. Happiness is not there. You now understand that you are becoming the masters of the world. There, you will have health, wealth, and happiness. You will receive everything. You say to God, "Come and show us the path." Have mercy. Come and give us liberation and liberation in life. Souls call out. Souls call out. Oh Baba, come and liberate us from sorrow and make us happy in heaven. He is remembered as the remover of sorrow and bestower of happiness. He is remembered as a remover of sorrow. He cannot give sorrow. He is removing sorrow from the world. and he is the best tower of happiness the father gives you happiness there is there no need to remember him in heaven because we are completely embodiment of happiness we remember only when there is pain or sorrow he makes all of you the children happy in earlier days they would give everything to their children when they reach the age of 60 and go into retirement the unlimited father says i know that ravan has made you very unhappy therefore i have now come to take you back the land of nirvana and the stage of retirement are the same thing the stage of retirement which is beyond saavn is the sweet silence home you will then go into your sweet kingdom it is now the land of sorrow nothing else you say that you are becoming spinners of the discourse of self realization and are continuing to make orders that to make others that too so baba said don't become selfish you get the knowledge give the knowledge share the knowledge only at the end will you become perfect they say that vishnu or shri krishna is the spinner of the discourse of self realization how could that be possible only you can understand these things those who are spinners of the discourse of self realization should have this intoxication what is the intoxication shiv baba is making us into the spinners of the discourse of self realization he is making us so no ego we will become perfect by the end it is because you have not yet become perfect that those ornaments has been given to the deities why deities because we are not perfect and complete it wouldn't seem right to give you this those ornaments at this time deities are perfect and this is why those ornaments have been given to them acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning 
from the mother, the father, Bab Dada. The spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children, and spiritual children love the members good morning and say Namaste to the spiritual father. Meethe, meethe, sikaladi, bacho prati, baat pita, baap dada ka yad pyar or good morning. Rohani, baap ki rohani, bacho ko namaste. Am rohani, bacho ki rohani, baat pita, baap dada ko yad pyar, good morning or namaste. Shukriya, baba, shukriya. Essence for dhana, point number one. Keep the secret of this unlimited drama in your intellect. And make the lesson of nothing new fun. Baba said, No wonders, no question. But Baba told in the Murli, ne? last Murli, said Sunday Murli, or yesterday, particularly Avak Murli, that I also wonder. I think the Baba actually, I should know. <laughs> Baba said, No wonder. Baba was told, ne? they clarify all the points why he is wondering. So Baba said, Nothing new. Stay beyond sound and go into the stage of retirement. Now Baba say, either young or little, Baba say, no question. Point number two, in order to conquer Maya, the enemy, Maya is the greatest enemy, take power from the almighty authority. Father, without his power, we cannot conquer Maya. Give the eye of knowledge to souls who don't have the eye of knowledge. So Baba said, share the knowledge. Knowledge sharing with mind, with words, with actions. Any, anything you can say. Blessing, may you become far-sighted and make your mind positive instead of suppressing it. Hindi, very good. Aman, daman, suman. Suman, positive mind. Suppress mind, that is daman. And Aman means no thought. Baba said, don't make like that Aman or Daman, but direct your mind that is make it positive. So Baba explains, on the path of devotion, the devotees make so much effort. Why? To make their mind peaceful and quiet with breath, breathing exercise, exercises. So means the asans and pranayam. Prana, pranayam means breathing exercise. So they are making mind peaceful with that. All of you have directed and kept your mind busy on the one father and that's all. Instead of suppressing Baba says, put your mind in one direction to Baba. You have not suppressed your mind, but you have made it positive. Now your mind, is, mind has elevated thoughts and this is why it is positive mind. So from negative and waste to positive and elevated. The wandering of your mind has stopped and it has found its destination. You now know the beginning, the middle and end, the three aspects of time. And so you have become farsighted and have a broad and unlimited intellect. This is why you are free from having to labor, labor for Conquering the mind. They have a labor. Suppressing the mind. Making a thoughtless by breathing exercise. So Baba say, don't do that thing. Simply divert your mind. That is called meditation. Nothing else. What is meditation? Meditation is very simple. To think positively. Nothing else. Baba say, transform your thoughts. In Gita also clearly said, Surjan karta hum. Surjan ne, not creating, but transforming. Slogan, those who are, those who always eat the fruit of happiness, always remain constantly healthy and happy. So Baba say, fruit of happiness. Kusi jaisi khurak nahi, there is no food like happiness. So Baba say, always remain happy. Then and then, we can eat the fruit. Transform the Thoughts. Change the thoughts. Acha. Om Shanti.